They are a little nuisance, and the goal of a Lexington company is to cut down on the number of them. Mosquito Mate has been developing sterile versions of the pest, and they've been releasing some of those mosquitoes into parts of the city. Hillary Thornton investigates how safe this technology is and how it works. Inside of the Mosquito Mate lab in Lexington, we're able to take a photo. Wingspans are measured, other attributes recorded, and hundreds of thousands of the insect monitored. Feeding day for the mosquitoes coming three days a week. That is until some of these are released outside, all done in an effort to combat the pests. Um, what are you doing? What? Um, you're releasing more mosquitoes to control mosquitoes, but we try to really emphasize that we only release male mosquitoes. Male mosquitoes do not bite. Those male mosquitoes aren't just your ordinary mosquito. Releasing males that have this bacteria, these males then uh, go out into the wild, mate with females, and the females then produce non hatching eggs, um, resulting in reductions in natural mosquito populations. The Wabakia bacteria essentially creating sterility. It is a technology developed at the University of Kentucky in Dr. Stephen Dobson's lab. So they look like with their hatch. Again, we're not using a sort of chemicals, we're not using a genetic modification. Both Corey Brailsford and Jimmy Maines worked on that technology while getting their PhDs. But it's species specific. So unlike chemical pesticides that can affect non-targets, uh, things that we see ben as beneficial, so butterflies, honeybees, the incompatible males that we release only target Asian tiger mosquito, mosquito females. And after they mate with those females, they die and cease to persist in the environment. The Asian tiger mosquito, the target of their field test here in Kentucky. A relatively new mosquito species here. Um, it's our main uh, biting nuisance mosquito species here in Lexington. Releasing thousands of male mosquitoes in the Elizabeth Street area near Commonwealth Stadium over the past couple of summers, leading to an 80% reduction in mosquito density in that area. Really, that's a difference of being able to go into your backyard without really worrying about mosquitoes versus getting 50 bites in a couple hours. Itchy bites being certainly unpleasant. However, the possible effects of the winged nuisance much larger than their bite. Classified as the most dangerous animal species in the world. Um, they're responsible for more deaths than sharks, tigers, crocodiles. A reality that has certainly been highlighted as of late. Zika has really brought to the attention uh, something that mosquito control uh, folks have known for a long time is that these 80 mosquito species that have recently invaded not only the U.S. but South America and other places across the world are a big problem. Um, they not only can transmit Zika which has been getting a lot of press but uh, chikungunya virus dengue virus, they can uh, transmit dog heartworm. Those concerns paired with success seen in the Lexington trial leading the team to target the yellow fever species, which can transmit Zika and is found in Fresno, California. While there have not been any local transmission cases, there have been travel related cases of the disease. That's why they're worried about it. It's, it's there. It could potentially happen. Somebody could come back from the Olympics, bring back Zika. The Mosquito Control District, they're contacting Mosquito Mate here in the Bluegrass State. We are actually shipping male mosquitoes twice a week, um, shipping 40,000 male mosquitoes to California. The mob of mosquitoes bred inside the Lexington lab being released in a California neighborhood. The technique of reducing populations, one they believe will only have positive results since the species targeted are not native to the specific areas. They've only been in the U.S. since the 1980s, so um, decreasing their numbers, uh, we don't anticipate to affect any um, anything within the ecosystem. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Mosquito Mate is currently still in the trial phase. They're hopeful they will soon receive necessary licenses and approvals, allowing them to offer the technology commercially to individuals.